Hello everyone. Today we will be learning about prime numbers. So to learn to understand prime numbers really good, you have to be good with factors. So I'm going to be starting off with factors. So what is a factor of a number? A factor of a number is an integer that divides a number equally. For example, let's take the number 8. So I'll write down 8. So let's see the factors. 1, yes it does. Then 2, yes. 3, uh, no. 4, yes. Five, no. Six, no. Seven, no. Eight, yes. So one, two, four, and eight are factors of eight. So, well, but while a bit number gets bigger, it will, might get more factors. For example, let's take the number twelve. Okay, so the one, yes. Two, yes, because if this is an even number. Three, yeah. Four, yes. Five, no. Six, yes. Seven, no. Eight, no. Nine, no. Ten, no. Eleven, no. Twelve, yes. See, in the for, in the for eight we got four, but for twelve we got six factors. As a, and as a, if the number goes on to like a bigger number, they might have even more than six factors. Now let's take the example five. So let's see the factors for five. So one, yes. 2, no. 3, no. 4, no. 5, yes. But wait, if I see 5 only has 2 factors. Now let's use the number 7. So let's see the factors. 1, yes. 2, no. 3, no. 4, no. 5, no. 6, no. Seven. Yes. Seven. So as in seven has only two factors. Now let's see with eleven. So eleven. One. Yes. Two. No. Three. No. Four. No. Five, no. Six, no. Seven, no. Eight, no. Nine, no. Ten, no. Eleven, yes. Eleven. Wait. Five, seven, and eleven only have two factors. Well, eight and twelve have so, so many factors. They have more than two factors. And if I see for five, seven, and eleven, the two factors are... 1 and the number itself. These sound really special to me. Don't you think so? They're very special. Yes. They're called prime numbers. Prime numbers are numbers that have only two factors. 1 and the number itself. So 5, 7, 11 and 11 are prime numbers. That's why they have two factors. Wait, can you think of any more prime numbers? Pause the video and if you have a piece of paper, grab it and write down as uh, prime numbers from, uh, the, from the smallest prime number to 20. I hope you written 
all the prime numbers from the smallest one to 20. Now I'm going to show you them. So, uh, I, 2 is the first one and is the smallest one then is 3 5 7 wait if we think about 9 wait no it will, it has 1 then 3 and 9 so it has as well 3 so no then 11 yes 15 hmm. no it's not because I mean about 13 it does but 15 doesn't because for first it has 1 then 3 and then 5 then 15 so it has four factors more two more factors than than needed to be a prime number so it's not a prime number so then 17 yes 19, yes, but not 20. 20 has 1, 2, 4, 5, and 10, and 20. So, no, it has much more factors. So, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19 are all the prime numbers. From the smallest one to 20. Well, there's no 20 on this, but yeah. So, I have a little task you can do after the video. Can you please write down the, the prime numbers from 20 to 40? Okay. Now, you might be wondering, hey, why do we have to learn about prime numbers? Hey, we, do we have to learn about prime numbers? So then we are the prime group, the prime group. Nah, you don't do that. No, that's not for the reason. You learn prime numbers, so then you can learn prime factor of a number. And it will be very useful in higher studies to simplify fractions or equations. That's why you have to learn not to become the prime group, prime group. No, that's not good. Now I'll be telling you some interesting and wow prime number facts. The first fact is one is not a prime number because it only has one factor of one and the number itself which is one. So only one factor. The second fact is, 2 is the smallest and only even prime number. And 3, all of the prime numbers are odd except 2. But, it doesn't mean all odd numbers are prime numbers. Like 9, it's an odd number, but it's, it's not a prime number. As like 15 and prime numbers keep on going. Hope you enjoyed watching my video. See you later. Bye.